Well, good morning, Nick Collier here, and uh, today we're going to do a little short video on tramming your head on your Bridgeport without using fancy $150 equipment. You can do it fairly inexpensively. All you need is a, uh, a dial indicator and a couple of basic tools, or you can make your own. I made my own, and uh, it seems to work just fine. So... Um, Let's go, let's come in close and see what we can okay, do. Okay, we got the J head on my old bridge port here. Uh, I think this one was built in, in the mid 60s or so. It's pretty beat up, uh, but it works just fine. It, you know, of course it takes a little bit of extra TLC in order to get it work prop to work properly, and one of those things is to tram the head in so that everything is good and square. Okay, now I've set up this inexpensive little uh bracket for uh, a dial indicator that uh, that attaches to the uh, to the quill of the uh, bridge port, I think I don't know. I might have paid fifteen dollars for this, and you know maybe another ten dollars for the indicator, and uh, and and we're set. I'm get, I'm using a little button indicator here, but you can use just p pretty much anything you want. Now my. Uh, my table's so beat up and so scratched up, and he's got to, you know somebody didn't take really good care of it. Um, so what I do is I come in with a parallel, a, a nice thick parallel, uh, and I know I've got a good square surface to work from. So now just basically come down until I start to make contact, and usually I just do, you know, ten thousandths or something like that, so that it's easy to. Uh, to um, uh, jump off and on of the parallel. Okay, we're sitting right on zero. Oh, no, we're not. We're sitting on one. Now we're sitting on zero. And we'll take the quill and rotate it around. And where are we sitting here? We're sitting at about four thousandths. Now, I, okay, yes, yeah, let's, let's go through the process of, of squaring up the head. Uh, this way, the head is out of square. Uh, can you see them? The head is out of square this way, which would be the Y direction, I believe. Yes. Uh, by four thousandths. So uh, what we have to do, uh, and I'm going to take you over to the to the bolts. Pretty simple. Bridgeport uh, really worked this machine out so that it functions very well. We got three bolts here holding the head square, and uh, we'll pull this third. One out. And there's a little screw head right up on top here that allows you to bring the head in and out. So we want to take the head, what are we sitting on? We're sitting on four or five thousandths. So we want to bring the head back to Let's try two and see what we come up with. Now, you got to be careful spinning this uh, this chuck because the whole thing can get thrown off. So, but it spins pretty easily. So, and there we are. Oh, the other thing you have to be careful with is having everything pretty much square with the table, and that brings us back to zero, and. Uh, we tighten our bolts. And we're sitting right at zero. I'll bring you in there and show it to you. Okay, right at zero. Although you're off at a little bit of an angle, it might look like it's a couple thousandths uh, shy of zero. But uh, if you go square on and... Uh, it, unfortunately, if I do square on, uh, it gets so much reflection that you can't see it. So, uh, trust me. So, 
That's using one kind of uh, tramming method. Let's go to the other kind. This is the one I use all the time, and we'll tram the, uh, tram the X direction. All right, well, when I first built my, or built, when I first purchased the bridge fort, um, I was buying so many other tools to go with it that I didn't think I could uh, afford to buy a $150, you know, double face tramming uh, device. So I thought, hey, let's just make one. So uh, basically, I don't know what you, if you can see this. Let me see if you can. You can see some of it. I took a piece of channel and uh, took a piece of two pieces of drill rod. I machined the channel so that it had a nice square surface, even though it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a square surface. And I. Uh, I built or I built this the length so that it would stretch all the way across the table and then so now it stretches from side to side without any problem. So this let's tram the uh, the X side of our system here and I believe that's going to be zero right there. I'm going to put my big head in there and have a look and make sure. Well, actually, there's zero right here. Okay, I'm going to bring you All in right, close. set right on zero. I don't know if it's uh, sharp enough for you to see that, but there we are. And uh, so now we're going to spin around and check the other side of it. And we'll be right back. All right, well, this side isn't even touching. See how far away we are? Oops, man, you can't see that, can you? See how far away we are from the from the bar. All right, so we're out by a bit, and I'd say probably boom fifty thousandths or so. So we'll go ahead and make our adjustments, and uh, I'll set you back up on the tripod, and we'll look at how to adjust the head. Okay, on this bridge port, the x direction of the head uh, adjusts with these four bolts here, and they come loose. And you saw the head just kind of jump off to the side a little bit there. All right, that gets the whole picture in there. Up on the side over here is a is another worm drive screw or bolt that brings us closer in. And I'm thinking somewhere in there we may have some sort of uh, good measurement. Let's take her to zero. We'll bring the tram back or the um, the indicator back over to this side, and it's like way off, still way off. All right, so. Something a little bit more like that. Let's see what we've got. And as you get more and more accurate, or as you get closer to zero, the, the key is, is to have this parallel with the table. So uh, I always just kind of put it parallel with the table either way. Take it to zero. Swing it around. I'll tell you what we're going to do so I don't have to keep moving in front of you. Let's get a mirror. And we are... 30 off so we're getting close and I'm thinking we're gonna go a little further that way we'll take 15 and see what we come up with
There's zero. Swing it around to the other side. And there is one thousandths. And I'm going to take this up just a little bit more, just so it barely touches, since we're so close. Bring us back around to zero. Swing it back around to this side. And what do we got? One thousandths. All right, let's take it just a tad further. Maybe the other way, we might have gone just a little too far. Yeah. There's a half. Okay, back to zero. All the way back over to the other side. And we're sitting on a half thousandths now. Make sure we're sitting right there. Well, actually, we're sitting on a half thousandths here, too. So let's just have a look at it. I'm going to be square with the table. Swing it around. Let's get square with the table. And we are exactly zero on both sides of that. Okay, let's bring it down so you can see it. So we've gone to in two ends of the parallel bar. And we are at zero. Perfect. And zero. Yes. All right, so now let's bring you up. We're going to tighten up the... Uh, the four bolts and then we check it one more time because you never can tell with an old machine things can move so we are now at a half thousandths and we are at a half thousandths okay let's bring it back to zero Oops, I wasn't square. Still zero. And zero. So, we've got a totally trammed head. Now any hole that we drill is going to be absolutely perfect, accurate, straight down the center, which is what we have to do next, is drill a hole. Okay, we got our head trammed in. We're all set to go. Uh, we're going to... Uh, come in we have to drill a hole and then bore it and so everything needs to be square to do that um, and uh, hey thanks for watching subscribe we have fun here this was a little bit more serious one but I you know we're constantly goofing off and having a great time this is Nick Collier signing out